in Indeed. Well, uh, may I present Guinevere? She'll be looking after you for the duration of your stay. You'll want for nothing. She is truly one of Camelot's finest. <laughs> then I fear for Camelot. Good luck with that one. Mm. <laughs> I need to prepare for the feast. Lady Vivian, she is very beautiful. Anyone trying to impress the Lady Vivian does so at extreme peril. Olaf would have their head in a vat of hot oil before he had a chance to say hello. Besides, she's not my type. She may be beautiful, but she's incredibly rude. You should have heard what she said to Gwen. And anyone insulting Gwen should do so at extreme peril. What? Nothing. I just know how you feel about her, that's all. That is, if your feelings haven't changed, which I presume they haven't. I do have my own vat of hot oil, you know. <laughs> You're blushing. Not much. What's wrong with Gwen? Nothing. I think she's very worthy of your love. Indeed. Were it so. Which it is. Merlin. Yes, Arthur. Get out. Yes, sir. Gwen? Gwen? Barriers that keep us apart are nothing compared to the power of true love, are they? Merlin, can't you knock? Rats. What? Big, hairy, sharp teeth. Uh, yeah, definitely under here. Feeling all right? Me? Never better. <laughs> you? I'm having a very surprising day. Really? You know one of those occasions when you've lost all hope and then out of the blue something happens to restore your faith? Sort of. Well, that's what's happened to me today. What is it, Arthur? You look like you have something on your mind. You read me like a book. I made a fool of myself, that's all. That's everything. I'm sure, that is not true. You have a good heart, Guinevere, but I'm afraid it is. I have made a gesture, but it was not well received. You sure? Pretty sure. Then you are wrong. You are very close to the lady in question. Your token was much appreciated. But the situation is delicate, and it is not always easy to express what is really in one's heart. You think there's hope? There is always hope. If only I had some way of knowing. Indeed, my lord. Second chance. Sunset. I'll await your presence.
something interesting? Uh, haven't you heard? Arthur was discovered in Lady Vivian's chambers. What? King Olaf has demanded recompense. Here to fight to the death. All for the love of a woman. And Lady Vivian at that. You look more shocked than I did. This is very surprising. I don't know why he couldn't control his feelings. Indeed. I will miss the tournée, if you don't mind. So much to organize here. But of course. Ah, Guinevere, you will wish me luck. Will I? Tom, you heard? Oh, yes. I've heard. Though sadly not from your lips. I wish you could have been more honest with me, Arthur. What's she talking about? No idea. Rats again, Merlin? What? No. No. Um, I, ne I need your help. Arthur needs your help. I do not think that Arthur needs me. Gwen, don't worry. I know. You know what? Everything. Anyone who spends five minutes with you can see how you feel about each other. Look, I do not have a lot of time to explain to you. You are going to have to trust me. Arthur does love you. No, he doesn't. If you don't trust me, trust your feelings. <sighs> Never trusting my feelings again. He's enchanted. Yes, with Lady Vivian, I can see that. No, I mean literally enchanted with magic, potions, love juice. None of his feelings are genuine. How can you be sure? When I saw him, his feelings seemed real enough. Gwen, none of his feelings for Vivian are real. But if you do not break the spell, his death will be. Search your heart. You know who he loves.